Okay, so welcome back. Now we're going to do an, an example. We're going to find the volume of a cube, okay? So it says, suppose the, the side length of a cube is measured to be 5 centimeters with an accuracy of 0.1 centimeters. So let's say we're using a measuring device and we know, let's say it's a, a calipers. Let's say we're using calipers to measure the height or the length of one of the sides. Okay, and so we measure using the calipers uh, and it measures to five centimeters, but we know that the calipers are accurate to within one tenth of a centimeter. Okay, so we're given the length and the length is five centimeters and the accuracy, right, so it says it's accurate to within Okay, keyword, within 0.1 centimeters. Okay, good. So what does that tell us? Okay. <clears throat> the first part says use differentials to estimate the error in the computed volume of the cube. Okay, great. Now, Start with the length, okay? So the length is accurate to within one centimeter or 0 0.1 tenth of a centimeter, which means we could be as far off as one or 0 0.1 centimeter or one tenth of a centimeter uh, larger. So we could, on the high side, we could be off by one tenth of a centimeter on either side. Okay, so that means that the error, right, the error, this is, means that the error, so this is telling us that dx, right, the error could be as low as um, negative 0.1 centimeters to positive 0.1 centimeters, right? That's what that means. Okay, now the volume of a cube is given by the formula, the length of a side cubed. Okay, now, this leads to the following equation given uh, differentials. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, write this as dv equals 3 times the length squared dl. So actually we would write this as dl then, not dx. Okay, since I'm using l. Okay, I'm going to use dl. Okay, now, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the measured side of 5 centimeters. Okay? So the measured side of 5 centimeters Um, and so we're going to stick 5 in, and then DL, right, so what am I going to do? I'm going to multiply all three sides here by 3L squared, so we'll, we're going to get um, 3 L squared times negative 0.1 is less than or equal to 3L squared DL, which is less than or equal to um, 3L squared times 0.1, right? Well, what's this? This is 
dV, right? So what does this mean? Now let's, let's plug and chug. We're going to use 5. So this is 5, or 3 times 5 squared times negative 0.1 is less than or equal to dV, which is less than or equal to 3 times 5 squared times 0.1. Okay, so now, what does that tell us? This is 25, so this is 75. So this will be negative 7.5 is less than dV, which, or less than or equal to, less than or equal to um, 7.5. Okay, and guess what? This is in centimeters cubed. Centimeters cubed. And so what does this tell you? It tells us that with an accuracy of the length, so we could be off within 0.1 centimeters, so given that the measurement is 5 centimeters, but we could be off as much as 0.1 centimeters, that means that the difference in the volume, we could be as much off as 7.5 centimeters. So the accuracy of the volume of the cube is going to be within 7.5 centimeters of the true measurement of the volume of the cube. Okay, so that's part A. Now part B says if the side length is actually 4.9 centimeters. Okay. It says compute the volume of the cube if the side length is 4.9 centimeters. All right, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna leave that down there, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna leave that down for, there for a moment. So what would be the volume of the cube if the exact measurement, the true measurement was 4.9? Well, the volume of the cube would be um, well, 4.9 cubed, right? And if you put that in calculator, you get 117,649. So, and if the, so that's case one. Case two, if the actual true measurement of the side was 5.1, okay, uh, then in this case you would get um, 120, what is it? It'll be 120, well, it's gonna be something like 132,651. So now, what are they asking us to do? It says compare the estimated error with the actual potential error. Okay, so this was our estimated error. Okay. So what was the what was the ex uh, well not the exact but what was the um, um, the um, the actual potential error? Okay. Well, what do you have here? So these are the max and mins, right? So what was our measurement? Our measurement was five. So what's V with five? Well, that's gonna be 125. Okay, so the actual potential error is what? 
Well, we could be as far as um, so in this case here, we're just going to do the the actual minus measured. Okay, so that's going to be. Um, So what do we get? We get um, seven point uh, three five one. Okay. So that would be negative, and then for. 132.651 over 125.000. And so this one would be um, 7.651. Right? So all I did was subtract 125 from each side. Now on the bottom side, it's going to be 117. 0.641 minus this. On the high side, it's going to be 132.651 minus uh, this. And so I get the negative. So the true potential, right, is going to be uh, negative 7.351 less than or equal to dv less than or equal to um, 7.651. Okay. <clears throat> okay, or delta V. Or no, I'm sorry. Change the wrong one. This is D. So in this case, we uh, they gave us information we calculated. Okay, so we can see that it's relatively close. So our estimated error in volume, right, is actually pretty close to the actual potential error of the computed value. That's it. Have a great day.